The Sale of Goods ACT, 1930, Arrangement of Sections, Chapter I, Preliminary, 1, Short Title, Extent and Commencement, 2, Definitions, 3, Application of Provisions of Act 9 of 1872, Chapter II, Formation of the Contract, Contract of Sale, 4, Sale and Agreement to Sell, Formalities of the Contract, 5, Contract of Sale How Made, Subject Matter of Contract, 6, Existing or Future Goods, 7, Goods Perishing Before Making of Contract, 8, Goods Perishing Before Sale But After Agreement to Sell, The Price, 9, Ascertainment of Price, 10, Agreement to Sell at Valuation, Conditions and Warranties, 11, Stipulations as to Time, 12, Condition and Warranty, 13, When Condition to be Treated as Warranty, 14, Implied Undertaking as to Title, etc., 15, Sale by Description, 16, Implied Conditions as to Quality or Fitness, 17, Sale by Sample, Chapter III, Effects of the Contract, Transfer of Property as between Seller and Buyer, 18, Goods must be ascertained, 19, Property passes when intended to pass, 20, Specific Goods in a Deliverable State, 21, Specific Goods to be put into a Deliverable State, 22, Specific Goods in a Deliverable State, when the seller has to do anything thereto in order to ascertain price. 23. Sale of unascertained goods and appropriation. Delivery to carrier. 24. Goods sent on approval or on sale or return. 25. Reservation of right of disposal. 26. Risk prima facie passes with property. Transfer of title. 27. Sale by person not the owner. 28. Sale by one of joint owners. 29. Sale by person in possession under voidable contract. 30. Seller or buyer in possession after sale. Chapter IV. Performance of the contract. 31. Duties of seller and buyer. 32. Payment and delivery are concurrent conditions. 33. Delivery. 34. Effect of part delivery. 35. Buyer to apply for delivery. 36. Rules as to delivery. 37. Delivery of wrong quantity. 38. Installment deliveries. 39. Delivery to carrier or wharf injure. 40. Risk where goods are delivered at distant place. 41. Buyer's right of examining the goods. 42. Acceptance. 43. Buyer not bound to return rejected goods. 44. Liability of buyer for neglecting or refusing delivery of goods. Chapter V. Rights of unpaid seller against the goods. 45. Unpaid seller defined. 46. Unpaid seller's rights, unpaid seller's lien. 47. Seller's lien. 48. Part delivery. 49. Termination of lien. Stoppage in transit. 50. Right of stoppage in transit. 51. Duration of transit. 52. How stoppage in transit is effected. Transfer by buyer and seller. 53. Effect of subsale or pledge by buyer. 54. Sale not generally rescinded by lien or stoppage in transit. Chapter VI. Suits for breach of the contract. 55. Suit for price. 56. Damages for non-acceptance. 57. Damages for non-delivery. 58. Specific performance. 59. Remedy for breach of warranty. 60. Repudiation of contract before due date. 61. Interest by way of damages and special damages. Chapter VI. Miscellaneous. 62. Exclusion of implied terms and conditions. 63. Reasonable time a question of fact. 64. Auction sale. 64a. In contracts of sale, amount of increased or decreased taxes to be added or deducted. 65. Repealed. 66. Savings.